Thank you for watching this video by Zhu's Vegan Pantry. This is an Aquafaba video and I am Zhu Deaver. Today I'm sharing with you a video demonstration of my vegan mayonnaise recipe from my cookbook Aquafaba. This is only a demonstration. The recipe is available in the cookbook. Let's get started. Add the Aquafaba, vinegar, lemon juice, and spices to a wide mouth pint sized mason jar or a container that is narrow but will accommodate an immersion blender. Blend for about 20 seconds until the aquafaba is frothy. Slowly, very slowly add the oil. Early on it is important to add the oil slowly to help the emulsion begin. I have the mason jar placed inside a pot with beans surrounding the jar to help hold the jar in place. Move the stick up and down to allow air to circulate to the aquafaba mixture. If you can, add the oil directly into the vortex formed in the emulsion. This will help emulsify the oil as it is being added. In addition, it is very important to chill your oil and the other liquid ingredients. I placed my oil in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes before I started the process and I measured out and placed all the other ingredients into the refrigerator. Keep adding the oil slowly and keep moving the stick up and down, capturing the air and the oil. You can see how the emulsion is beginning to form as it thickens. You can use a standard blender, but if it is a high speed blender, blend on low until the emulsion happens, then increase the speed to medium. This is being shot in real time. Once it becomes really thick, the jar will want to come out of the pan, but you can hold it down with the lip of the measuring cup because at this point there isn't too much oil left in the cup and you have more control over the speed of your pour. When you are down to a few teaspoons, you can add the oil all at once and just continue to blend until it is all emulsified. You can see that this is very thick and creamy. Using a wide mouth pint jar is a good idea because most immersion blenders will fit into it and then you can use it to store the mayo and not have to transfer it to a separate container. Make sure to taste your mayo for salt and more acid if it needs it before you store it away. Thanks for watching. Find more aquafaba recipes in my new cookbook, Aquafaba, and on my site, Jus Vegan Pantry.